Hey everyone, it's Dr. Follicle. Welcome back to the Scalp and Hair Care channel. This video is a must for those with Sebderm or any other fungal scalp infection. Scalp Fungus Biofilms Today we will discuss why antifungals fail and how to break the barrier in the seborrheic dermatitis battle. Seborrheic dermatitis and chronic scalp fungal infections are often resistant to treatment and one major reason is biofilms. A protective shield that fungus and bacteria create to defend themselves against antifungal treatments. In this video we will break down what biofilms are and how they protect scalp fungus and why antifungal treatments fail unless biofilms are broken. The best natural and medical ingredients to dissolve biofilms. What are biofilms and how do they protect scalp fungus? Biofilms are a sticky protective layer made of polysaccharides, proteins and fats that fungi like Malassezia, the yeast responsible for seborrheic dermatitis, create to shield themselves. Antifungal shampoos like ketoconazole, zinc perithione or selenium sulfide struggle to penetrate the biofilm, meaning they cannot fully reach and kill the fungus. The main purpose of these antifungal shampoos is to actually kill the fungus if, and only if, the fungus can be reached. The scalp remains inflamed and flaky even after weeks or months of treatment. Biofilms make fungi up to 1,000 times more resistant to antifungal medications. Think of biofilms like a fortress. If you don't break down the walls, your antifungal treatments will not be effective. How to break down biofilms and expose the fungus. To effectively treat seborrheic dermatitis, you must first destroy the biofilm. Here are the best biofilm disruptors. Xylitol, a natural biofilm breaker. How it works? Xylitol is a sugar alcohol that disrupts the sticky biofilm matrix, loosening the protective shield around fungal colonies. It helps break down fungal communication, quorum sensing, making them weaker and easier to kill. Works best when combined with antifungal agents like ketoconazole or apple cider vinegar. How to use it. Mix half a teaspoon of xylitol with warm water. Massage into the scalp and leave for 10 minutes before rinsing with an antifungal shampoo. Use two to three times per week. Why it is effective. Xylitol is clinically proven to prevent biofilm formation in bacterial and fungal infections. Salicylic acid, the exfoliator that lifts biofilms. How it works, salicylic acid at 2% is a keratolytic, meaning it removes dead skin and excess sebum, which biofilms attach to. It exposes trapped fungal cells, allowing antifungal shampoos to work better, reduces thick, stubborn, seborrheic dermatitis scales. How to use it? Use a salicylic acid shampoo like Neutrogena T-Sal two to three times per week. Let it sit on the scalp for five minutes before rinsing. Why it is effective? Biofilms attach to dead skin, so regular exfoliation weakens their structure. Apple cider vinegar is a natural acidic disruptor. How it works? Apple cider vinegar with the mother breaks down biofilm proteins, making fungi vulnerable to antifungals. Its acidic nature lowers scalp pH, creating an environment where Malassezia struggles to survive. It also has mild antifungal properties to prevent regrowth. How to use it? Mix one part apple cider vinegar with two parts water. Apply to the scalp after shampooing. Leave for five minutes, then rinse. Use one to two times per week. Why it is effective. Apple cider vinegar breaks apart the biofilm matrix and kills fungi in one step. MCT8 oil. A biofilm disruptor that starves Malassezia and moisturizes skin and hair. How it works. MCT8 oil, caprylic acid C8, penetrates biofilms, weakening their defense system. Unlike coconut oil, MCT8 does not feed Malassezia yeast. MCT12 should be avoided as it feeds the fungus. MCT8 helps restore scalp moisture without creating an environment for fungal regrowth. Apply a few drops of MCT8 oil to the scalp after washing. Leave on overnight or for at least one hour before rinsing. MCT8 oil breaks down fungal shields while preventing scalp dryness. Scalp steaming. 
we can use heat to open up biofilm layers. Heat and moisture help soften and break apart biofilms, making antifungal treatments more successful. It opens hair follicles, allowing treatments to penetrate deeper. I am going to do a separate video on scalp steaming and its benefits. I have had great results personally from scalp steaming to lift those thick, hard-to-shift scales on my scalp. Place a warm towel over the scalp for 5 to 10 minutes before applying treatments. You can also use a facial steamer directed at the scalp but not too close. Steaming loosens biofilms, making them easier to wash away. The best step-by-step -step routine to destroy biofilms and treat sebderm. To effectively get rid of scalp fungus biofilms, follow this proven routine. Step 1. Loosen the biofilm. Use a zeolitol rinse, half a teaspoon in water and massage into the scalp. Apply warm scalp steam for 5 to 10 minutes. Step 2. Exfoliate and break the biofilm. Use a salicylic acid shampoo, 2%, to remove dead skin and scales. Let it sit for 5 minutes before rinsing. Step 3. Use an ACV apple cider vinegar rinse to disrupt the biofilm matrix. Use an apple cider vinegar rinse, 1 to 2 ratio with water, and leave for 5 minutes. Step 4. Kill the exposed fungus. Use ketoconazole, nizoral 1 to 2%, or zinc perithionis shampoo 3 times per week. Step 5. Hydrate without feeding fungus. Apply MCT8 to soothe the scalp and prevent excessive dryness. To recap, Sebderm and scalp fungus are harder to treat because of biofilms, a protective layer that shields yeast from medications. Xylitol sugar, salicylic acid, apple cider vinegar and MCT8 oil are the best biofilm disruptors. Breaking biofilms first makes antifungal treatments up to 10 times more effective. Have you tried breaking biofilms before treating your scalp fungus scales? Let us know your experience in the comments. If you're struggling with persistent hair loss, hair growth issues, scalp conditions, or any of the conditions we discussed, don't hesitate to seek professional help, or indeed ask in the comments section below. Thanks for joining me today and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And for more hair raising insights, make sure to subscribe to Dr. Follicle's hair and scalp care channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. As always, check in the description section of this video for links to some of the products we discussed today. I have lots of fresh content coming soon, so be sure to stay subscribed. See you soon everyone, take care.